wheel. A tubes main dose one two five. Um, I know I haven't been making any update videos recently, but that's kind of because I've been trying to find a job. And if you hear any background noise, it's because we're doing um, construction work at the school across the street. Actually, redoing the entire school. Anyways, uh, on to the point of the video. Um, it's kind of going to be a rant video, really, and semi update video. But, uh, well, might as well get the uh, update out of the way. I'm actually in the middle of, uh, yeah, I'm in the middle of some, uh, legal stuff here. So, I had to mail that crap out, uh, due to my last job. Um, but pretty much I'm just looking into a couple different options for my new job. Um, when I get around to that, I'll make another update video on what it is. Uh, been tired recently. Um, let's see, how to start the rant off. Uh, there's just so many damn questions that I get daily. Um, well, let's start with the first one. Let's see, uh, I think the re most recent one, not really going to mention the name, but I was like, oh, you made a, a long video, but it only took you like, you know, about 30 seconds to do the install. Okay, well, some people don't get, you know, simple stuff that you put up on YouTube, like, oh, hey, you just gotta take this and put it here. Instead of like, oh, what's that thing's name? Oh, what that, what's that thing's name? Oh, how do you put that in? So, I try to go more in depth when I do installs and stuff. And I try to make it as simple as possible, but yet as, you know, well done as possible. Instead of just, you know, like Smart Gunner 45's video is just a silent video and just like, done you know so I actually like talking my videos and whatnot if you haven't noticed um, other than that another one by the same person <laughs> he's like oh you have to clean an AK you don't have to but it does make it run better if you do you moron can't believe how many freaking uh, comments about that crap I get even on the Tavor video so uh Yes, you do have to clean your gun to make it run better. Even if it's an AK. You don't have to, but you should. And you can also lube it to make it run better, too. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, the one that has really been getting to me lately is the whole limp-wristing bullshit on videos. Oh, well, your handgun don't run right because you limp wrist. Excuse me? A fucking defensive handgun should run no matter goddamn what. Oh, my my handgun gave up on me because I limp wristed. Okay, well that's a shitty fucking firearm then, because a firearm in a defensive situation you want to run no matter what. So the whole crap of oh you're limp wristing so your gun doesn't work. No, it's probably the ammo or the fact that the gun isn't broken in yet or something like that. And even if you are limp wristing, the gun should still function. Like, what the fuck is your point? That's like one of my freaking top annoyances on videos when people are like, oh, that gun's a piece of shit because you're limp-wristing. Or, oh, that's that's just a piece of shit gun. People that say that kind of crap need to go back to owning high points or something because, I mean, you know, at least the high point would function better than a Glock. And before you say, oh, no, it doesn't. Bullshit. They're both striker-fired, but at least the high point ain't gonna shoot you when you get, get it caught on your fucking uh, drawstrings to your jacket and shit. But, uh, and that's another thing, too, is a defensive handgun should probably have a manual safety, in my opinion, because your first train of thought, which should be all just muscle memory, is drawing and popping your safety off at the same time while indexing along the side of your firearm. You don't ever grab a firearm by the fucking trigger when you go to pull it out of a holster. That's how you shoot yourself. So, when you go to grab your firearm... Your instinct should be to put your thumb on your safety if you're right-handed or if you have a left hand gun you're left-handed. Put your thumb on your damn safety and uh, disengage your safety as you're drawing and then put your thumb into the normal shooting position that you would have. It's pretty simple and you can all do it within one you know motion just like if you're just drawing your handgun normally from your holster. So the whole thing of, oh, well, never carry your gun with a safety on is completely retarded in my opinion, even in 1911. Oh, well, I carried my 1911 with the safety off and it cocked and locked. 
and in a in a Kydex holster where the uh, trigger's not covered, and it's like the trigger's not covered. So basically, someone can just walk up behind you, like say a small child, for example, if you're talking to someone, you're not paying attention. The small child can walk up and pull the trigger and shoot you in the fucking leg. Okay, well that's negligence on your part, in my opinion. But uh. I don't know, it's just stupid shit like that I see every day at either uh, gun shows or, you know, gun shops for that matter. Another thing is when people walk in, you know, they got round chambered and they like, oh, hey, can I try out the holster? And they're sitting there fucking with the, you know, gun on, a, you know, fire with the safety off and the hammer's cocked back and they're just sitting there fucking around putting the gun on the holster and shit. It's like, are you trying to shoot someone? What the fuck? I know me and uh, Smart Gunner 45 went off to, um, I believe it was Sportsman's Warehouse up here, and we walked in, and someone was fucking around with a gun like that, and they'd never checked it at the front. And uh, so we were like, yeah, we're out of here. And another time that happened was at a gun show, but the guy was concealed carrying, and you're supposed to check him at the front again. Never did that. So it's dumb shits like that that, you know basically degrading our gun rights. Another thing is, I kind of was hating on Yankee Marshall before, but after watching some of his videos from, um, yeah, I believe they're from, uh, actually very recently, as of last month, this is August, so yeah, in July and June, those months, I was watching his videos from there, and, um, he's actually started making more sense. So, either he's getting older, or maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm just more mature now, and just uh, not really giving two shits. But he's been making more sense to me when I've been watching his videos. So, um, here's that. And then, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, when I get my new job, I've actually been looking at one currently that pays 22 11 an hour, which is a maintenance helper position. And uh, I'm not going to say where, but basically, as a maintenance helper, uh, 22 11 an hour ain't that bad. I mean, you know, that's about $1,786 a paycheck, and I'm pretty sure that's before tax. But still, after tax, it's about 1500 bucks a paycheck or so. And if that's all after tax, then, you know, $1,786 a paycheck. <clears throat> but, um, so that comes out to like 3000 to 3400 a month or something like that. Or 3500 a month. Which is very, very doable. But, uh, Anyways, uh, if I get this position and get hired on and whatnot, I'm still waiting on the email to, you know, say, hey, come take your interview. But uh, if I get the position and whatnot, then uh, I'll be rebuilding my gun collection and whatnot. Kind of slim down on it. But uh, other than that, not really much more going on. Um, I'm going to see if Zombie Master 25 wants to host a uh, Google Hangout tonight. Might invite some of the viewers. Um, I might post a link in the uh, comments or something to join. But, uh, I don't know, it's kind of up to him if he wants to host one or not, because I'm not really going to host one. I don't feel like it. But, uh, if you host one, I'll probably be in there. I don't know about Smart Gunner 45. He's got, I don't know what the hell he's got to do. He's done with stuff in his personal life, uh, college and alike. And, uh,. I don't know what the hell he's up to, but uh, I'll see if he wants to join in, I don't know if he does or not. Uh, other than that though, I've been running this Pro Mag for quite a while, the uh, USP45 Pro Mag, and the only real noticeable thing is that the ammunition rattles in it from time to time, but other than that, it functions just like the H&K mags in my experience. And this is actually the only mag that I've ever gotten a jam in but it's like one in probably a few thousand rounds. So, I mean, they're just as good as uh, the HK mags for range mag. And uh, these ones you don't really have to worry about as much, you know, throwing them in the dirt and crap. Although with the HK mags, you really don't have to worry about that. But, uh, you know, these are just like a throwaway mag, really. So the Pro mags, as you can see, it's got the little line through it, which the uh, HK mags don't. I've actually got loaded HK mags in here. So this here is the H and K mag. As you can see, it's got the H K logo on the base plate, and this one doesn't. 
So, and then the back of the mags, of course. There's like two holes versus, uh, I believe there's five on the back of this one. Nope, there's actually seven. So, yeah, and then also you can see uh, the other difference is that this one has like a little, I guess these are kind of molded. It's got like a little, right there, it's got like a little plus kind of mark on it, a little positive mark or something. But I believe these are one piece injected molded, whereas these ones are actually welded together in the back. So, I mean, like I said, for range mag, the pro mags aren't that bad. And uh, the HK mags are obviously the uh, better choice, however. But I don't really see paying $40, $45 for a mag when you can get these for around $15, $20 a mag. Other than that, as I was saying, new job in the works. Um, as for Ed's GoFundMe thing, I mean, if you guys can, donate to that because he does need help with his lawyer and stuff. Which I've uh, helped him set up. And, uh... Apparently his stalker, as we'll call him, I guess, has been calling his lawyer and stuff, too. Because uh, Ed's lawyer went on vacation and will be back this coming Monday, I believe. But, um, yeah, so Ed's actually filing a lawsuit against the Palm Beach Sheriff's Office for, uh, what happened was, uh, he got in a little fight with his stepdad or something about that, about his stepdad accusing him of taking his phone when he didn't take his stepdad's phone. It was in his pocket the whole time. So stepdad being drunk and everything, I guess, beat Ed up and Ed tried to uh, use his taser in self-defense on him, but the taser was dead. You know, the battery wasn't charged or something, so it never even went off. And uh, basically Ed's stepdad uh, bounced his head off the wall a few times or something like that, put some holes in walls and stuff. Ed called 911 to have the Palm Beach Sheriff's Office, you know, show up and help him. Meanwhile, instead what they did was they threw him to the ground and pretty much arrested him. And, uh, so, I kind of thought something happened to Ed, but, um, when I was at, uh, Inner Youth Day, as a matter of fact, right after making that, uh, Deshka walk-around video, Ed calls me up and says, hey, I, I need your help, I need a lawyer, uh, you know, help me out. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'll do that, uh, tomorrow morning, and then I'll get, I'll have him get back to you, and he's like, okay. It's like, yeah, call me day after tomorrow, so he called me back, told me, okay, yeah, the, uh, you know, the one lawyer that he gave me didn't pick up, so I gave him another number. Calls that one, they pick up, and he calls him back and says, you know, oh yeah, he says he can probably get me out of here, and then, you know, next day, of course, Ed's like, hey, I'm back home. And, uh, you know, I'm hearing, uh, something about, um, you know, the sheriff's took everything, and I'm just looking for some stuff, and I'm gonna go stay with a friend for a while, so he's been staying with his friend, actually. And then, uh, I don't know where he's at now, but pretty much we've been just, we've just been doing a tip old, you know, talking on Skype for the last, uh, two months now. But, uh, he's talking with another lawyer, and, uh, yeah, he's basically he's looking to file the lawsuit and whatnot. But, um, yeah, so that's basically what's going on with that. Um, I'm not going to mention who, but, uh, some people are getting their badges revoked. I can guarantee that. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, Ed's got everything that he's given to his lawyer and whatnot, and uh, I guess a stalker won't leave him alone. And um, I'm pretty much just staying out of the situation, but kind of giving him help third party, if you will. Just doing what I can for him. And other than that, I mean, you know, it's what it is. As for me, um, my last job uh, wrongfully terminated me for uh, what the hell was it? Something about the disability I have and stuff, and uh, pretty much they violated the American Disabilities Act and Title VII and whatnot, and uh, in contact with a federal uh, place about that and whatnot, and they're going to be representing me likely. So I just mailed out their thing back to them saying no I don't want to mediate due to the intimidation I faced but uh I'm still debating on whether or not to release that video I haven't talked to the lawyer that I have on my end about that so I'm uh gonna just hold on to that video for now other than that um 
I don't know, maybe I'll make some game videos or something. I'm going to try and get out and go shooting, but no guarantees. And, uh, yeah, like I said, we might do a chat tonight. I'm not sure. It depends on if Ed wants to host one or not. If not, see you guys next video. So, uh, like I said, keep an eye open. If the chat pops up, feel free to join. Other than that, I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. That's 0125.